Good morning and welcome to, look, I'm not going to tell you whereabouts it is because I think it would be disrespectful, but last night we stayed at an Airbnb in a place that's about three quarters between Bournemouth and Newcastle and it's fair to say you get what you pay for. Take a look at this beauty. Steve, is there hot water in the bathroom? There is. That, well, mm, well warm. Uh, what's that? Uh, that's not very good. That looks like a dirty, a dirty <laughs> process. <that's laughs> right, so uh, let's have a look at what Tom's room was, was like last night. Uh, wow, mate, I mean, yeah. this is a, s a small little room, mate. I had to put that she up to the curtains. <laughs> Bed is rank. I mean, doors are shut, the handles coming off. <laughs> oh no! But you know me, mate. I'm very adaptable. So this is our uh, lounge, which which looks respectable enough, I suppose, doesn't it? It's okay. There's a there's a TV there, which is nice. Not plugged into any area or something, so you have to bring your own HDMI and laptop to actually get anything going. That's nice. All right, this is Steve's room. Oh, you know what? I mean, it's not it's not the best, but. Who's these? What? <laughs> it looks like what? Someone's wiped their ass in the shower gel. <laughs> oh my god. Have you got enough shower gel, Steve? <laughs> We're in the back garden here. And I tell you what. Right, Tom. Mm. Been a rude awakening this morning, not because it was a bad night's sleep, but also we. Uh, there it is. The old, what is we, it, rooster? We had that from 5 a.m. Yeah. It we did see be. it on the reviews, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Had people oh, saying, there's another one. But there it goes again, watch out for the rooster. Um, yeah, so that was that was a nice nice morning wake up. But, uh, How are you feeling anyway, mate? Let's, let, let's get into it. It's match day. Oh, yeah, match day. Um, yeah, I'm not, I mean. I'm not overly confident, I think they're a good side, but um, who knows, mate. I'm not overly confident against Forrest, I would have taken the points, so you never know. By the way, thank mm. you for this t-shirt. What's that noise? Thank you for this t-shirt. This reminds me to bring all my cables. That was a birthday present for me, mate. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're yeah. so lovely. And that mug you saw earlier, that was from uh, this reprobate over here, mate. What a choice, what a choice. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> mate. You're welcome. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Right, we're nearly ready to get going. Let's just check to see if the car's still there. Results. <laughs> right, that's our stop off done. Let's do the rest of the journey. You it. to Newcastle. Tom's there. Tom, how are you buddy? You alright mate? Yeah, all good. Just keep an eye on the early kickoff. So 2-0 City at the moment. Yeah. Haaland well, scored, so these teams just can't stop Haaland. I don't know what the big deal is to be honest, because <laughs> I can't even remember him against us. But um, yeah, no, nice mate. Nice. Newcastle fans are lovely. Spoke to a few of them. They love Eddie. It's making me a bit emotional, I've got to be honest. Yeah, so we're at the, what's the place called? The, uh, the bridge. Yeah, the bridge. The bridge hotel, uh, just near to the Tyne actually. And uh, yeah, we're going to chat to a few Newcastle fans. We're going to get their view on Eddie. And it's going to be an emotional one today, mate. Have it you got is. Any early thoughts, predictions? I feel like they'll, I still feel like they'll be too strong. Um, and I think it's that atmosphere and everything involved. But you never know, mate. We might skank a draw. You never know. You never know. But I'm looking forward to the weekend as a whole anyway, mate. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this game. Always always was. So I am still looking forward to it. And I think that Forest win has just made me think, you know what, it's kind of not a free hit, but I think that was massive. Winning at Forest makes us think, you know what, if we can nick points here and there after yeah. days, we're in a decent position. Wolves getting beat. Forest lost last night. You see Forest lost last night? Yeah. Doing well, aren't they? Richard Jackson's here, and Richard, 
is going to be a meeting with a previous manager. Do you think we're going to be singing his name today? Oh, of course we are, definitely, yeah. Uh, I don't think Callum is playing, which is a shame, but uh, there's a certain little other little player who might be playing. can't remember his name. Didn't really do much with us, did he? No, uh, can't. Probably won't do much, <laughs> apart from score winning goal in injury time, but there you go. So I'm here with Mark. I think you can tell what team he supports. Yes. <laughs> Look, there he is. There, and what a shirt that is, what a name that is. Um, talk to me about the guy that we know very well, Eddie Howe. Eddie, What's your thoughts he's on a him? Gent. How, he's how's he done for you? He's done very well. Uh, I hope you don't try and uh, move him out. You know, to start growing up the league. He's a super guy, fantastic coach. He's um he's a name that I think a lot of Newcastle fans at first they were a bit a lot of them were saying who's Eddie Howe? He's the guy that got Bournemouth relegated, but no, I think he's very well respected. Yeah. In terms of the game itself, I mean, what would you take? You take a point, or what are you looking for three points, or you know, what's your what's your thoughts? Definitely take a point. Uh, good performance as well. I mean, even if we even if we end up losing, good performance I think will be going in the right direction, definitely. But yeah, you, you don't know. I mean, we've got a good record here, haven't we? Fairly decent record. I think one, two, and uh, lost two. We've been here, so uh, we've definitely got a chance. Put it that way. So we've got Dave here as well. Dave, how are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Good, good. Uh, St James's Park. It's um, it's been a different St James's Park than it has been from previous seasons. Like last oh. time we've been here, it's toxic atmospheres. There's none of that now. Not now. Eddie's arrived. No. Eddie's changed the place, changed the culture. The thing that surprised me is the way he's tightened up the defence yeah. because that was not the impression he got from Bournemouth. He played football, like the opposition played football. He had to tighten up the defence, he's done a great job at that. Hey, I'm, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to have to ask you, what's your prediction? Go on, Mark. Well, you, you can have one goal. <laughs> so, Thanks, man. Perhaps 3 1. I've got 2 1, okay. Alright, so, tell better. you what, he's being nice. Two. Uh, Dave, what are you going for? Looking for 3 1, but mainly to get three points because we've only won one game this season. So we need to win another one. And uh, too much respect for the way Bournemouth came back at Forest to take anything for granted. Right, team news is out two o'clock. Tom, tell me what's happening with AFC Bournemouth first of all. Um, there's no Lloyd Kelly. Um, we lost 9 0 last time, but um, don't worry about that. Yeah, Sonesi's oh, in. What, last time we didn't have Lloyd Kelly? Yeah. yeah. Sonesi's in, but we've um, no Fredericks either, so we've gone with the four at the back. So, oh, uh, Fredericks even on the bench? Uh, yeah, he's on the bench, but okay. um, I believe. I haven't looked at the bench. Um, I think so, I'll have a look now. But yeah, I think we've gone to a four at the back. Sonesi's in for Kelly, and just going from what I predicted, uh, Christie is playing. So it looks like a four at the back. From their point of view, the only one I got wrong was Botman's not playing. They're playing Dan Byrne. But the snake, the snake is starting. How do you feel about that? I'm worried, mate. I am worried. No Lloyd Kelly, I think, when you haven't got your skipper there. Celestia, Mepham, Liverpool. That's all I can remember. That's the only time they played together, isn't it? Yeah. One nil ball. <laughs> Right, we've got Andrew here. He's in white and black. You know who he supports. Uh, look, huge game for us today. Uh, huge game for yourselves. I've been chatting to a few Magpies fans. Must win game, they're saying. Do you agree? Not necessarily. We've been drawing too many, but I think we're walking in pretty confident. No offence. Yes. <laughs> we're hoping for three points. Talk to me about Eddie. What's your opinion of him? Because some Newcastle fans were skeptical when he came in, weren't they? I think so. Um, We've been linked with a few people, a few giant names, but I think the majority of Newcastle fans probably wouldn't have wanted a Jose Mourinho or something similar because we weren't there yet. I, I think the results speak for themselves and the change in the last year, 10, 10, 12 months has been remarkable. You've got certain players like Joe Linton, like a brand new player. Yeah, exactly. He's been completely transformed. And I think that has to be put down to Eddie Howe, not down to anything else. And just 
the comparison between the Steve Bruce era, everything preceding that under Mike Ashley, and now it's chalk and cheese. We've got Glenn here. Glenn, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, man. Um, yeah, very good, very good. Um, talk to me about your season. How's it been? Um, we've played really well. Um, I think as Andrew says, we've been drawn quite a bit. Um, we need to win today. Yeah. I'm seeing pretty confident. Um, I think if we win today, we're in for a decent season. Yeah. Hopefully we can finish top seven. Um, Ryan Fraser is a is a guy that's not liked that well by Bournemouth fans. Why with the, is that? Watch out! I'll put the card at the top right there. But however, it's just the way he left the club wasn't particularly good. Um, but how's he done for you? Has he, has he done all right? I mean, he's starting today. Yeah, he's um, he's done well. I think he's got fitness issues. Um, but he. Towards the end of last season, when we started winning <coughs> matches, he was an integral part of that. He seems to, to get on well with Eddie. I know it, it didn't yeah. end particularly well um, at Bournemouth, but he's, he's playing well. I think he'll be an important part over the next year. Um, next season, perhaps not. I think he, he probably drops by the wayside as we start to progress. Last time that Lloyd Kelly, our central defender, was out, Liverpool beat us 9-0. <laughs> He, he's out again today. Is it like, like, like what's it going to be? Is it going to be a professional performance or is it going to be a rout? Or could Bournemouth get something? Well, I would have said, be nice. Had, be nice. Had you gone on to lose to Forest being 2 0 down, yeah. I would be thinking 4 5 0. But I, we're drawing too many games at the moment, we're struggling to score. There's a chance you'll get something, but I'm hoping you won't. Can I ask you a prediction? 2-1? To Bournemouth? Thanks, Oh, Good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>Walking through Newcastle on the way to the game. Yes. And you know what, mate? There are so many pubs in and around Newcastle Loads, that we could have gone to, but it was nice to have a quick drink at the junction, wasn't it? Junction, mate. I'll tell you what the junction is. What? It's a Green King. Yeah, you know what? And the a Green King is the place, it's the home of pub sports. It's where the fans go, and look, they've got every match covered on Sky, on I BT. Don't about, I don't know about you, but I had a free pint. I had, a, I had a freebie. I whacked it back of the net in the code, went up to the bar, free point. All right, I need to tell you about this. Right, so they've got a season ticket app, the Green King season ticket app. You download it on the App Store or, or Google Play, and all you do is you sign up, enter the code BOTN. Which sounds back of the net, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It does BOTN, right? And once you do that, what you'll get is 10% off all your drinks one hour before, one hour after, and during any televised game that they've got, which yeah. is most games. Yeah, they have a City game on, didn't they? Plus a free pint. Free pint. Happy days. I needed it when I saw the Kelly was out, I tell you, yeah. mate. So, yeah, happy days. When you see that your captain's out, you go, I'll tell you what, I need the green care out there. I need to make sure I've got a free pint just to soak it up. But, yeah, no, ideal, mate. And uh, nice booze around there. Junction was lovely, so, yeah. yeah. Happy days, mate. Happy days. Can't go wrong. So also, you can uh, book your table via the app as well, which is really good. Plus, there's going to be some really, really good uh, like offers dropping if you use the code BOTN throughout the season. So yeah, download the Greed King season ticket app now and enter code BOTN. You get three points. Oh, lovely, Happy lovely. Days. So we've got uh, Cy here. Obviously, you can tell what team he supports. Um, talk to me about your season, buddy. How's it gone? Uh, better than I thought. But we, we sh basically we should have scored more goals. And we should have won more games. But we, we've only been beaten once, so we're not doing so bad. What do you think of Eddie Howe, mate? Because he's obviously like someone that former fans really appreciate. Yeah. How, how do you think he settled in? Brilliantly. He's done really well. I was a bit worried when he came because of the amount of goals he conceded when when he was with you. Yeah. But he's done really well, and he's obviously he's, he's had a. Change as he's had it, well, he's been lucky with the money he's got yeah. as well. But he's he sees his tactic seems to have changed a little t slightly yeah. with defense defensively wise, so we're not conceding what <laughs> we used to concede. I know you can see the few goals. <laughs> dare I ask you for what, a prediction today? Yeah, 
Ooh, one, two, 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 two or three one. Two or three one, so yeah. I, yeah, thanks I for coming on, mate. Hopefully, <laughs> but then again, you never know. Thank you, mate. Cheers, buddy. We appreciate it. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Takeover, everything's been brilliant. And what do you think about Eddie Howe? Because a lot of Newcastle fans weren't sure of him at the start, but he... Nah, I was always positive. I always thought, you know, he's the man. <laughs> How does he compare, compare to Steve Bruce? Much better. Fuck me, he's attacking. We have like, like, like 30 shots a game. Oh, but then he's free from Steve Bruce. What's your, um, what's your prediction for the game today, buddy? 2-1 Newcastle. You're being respectful to us, mate. 2-1. Right. I think you'll get the first goal and we'll come back. Alright, 2-1. Robbie, cheers, mate. Thanks for coming right. on. Have a good day. Fucking high bar games. This will be followed by the national anthem, God Save the King. The minute silence will start and end on the referee's whistle. Again. 
to him, one from Fraser, I think. Wow, best keeper I've ever seen. And, and one off the post that he was nowhere near, but bloody hell, mate. No, that was not him out time. Just for half time, they're turning the screws slightly. Sorry, did I just say you say yeah you want someone? No. Oh. Tom, deal about the yeah first, first half was was all right from us, wasn't it? We had yeah. half chances. Dom Salaki failed overhead kick that we saw that was failing before he even kicked it. Tavernier had a, but they didn't. You know, they they had a few chances. They certainly tested us towards the end of that afternoon. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot in it to be fair. I think uh, it was quite an even game, but until I come down for a bit and then they started they the post and they Neto's done alright but yeah there's not a lot in the game mate I'll take this I'll take it I still probably tip them to nick it but we're in the game I would have taken this half time mate it's not a 9-0 game without penalty is it it's actually a kind of a 1-0 a one no, he's, uh, no he's done alright he's getting caught a bit but he's done alright Christy Tavern wasn't is doing good yeah yeah Christy wasn't a booking I don't think harsh because then they made a similar one and didn't get booked so that was harsh but um, no I've enjoyed it mate give Frank some stick give Eddie some love we're level half time, you've got to take it. Though. He's not waved yet though, has he, Eddie? He's not waved yet. I'll get the wave. Alright, so we got Johnny here, Johnny. Right, Sam, how's it going? You're right, mate. Very good, mate, very good. Oh, there is. Uh, how are you, buddy? How did you enjoy the first half, mate? Oh, mate, nil nil, we're doing alright. Keep it in. I would take a nil nil full time. I would take a nil nil. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you think maybe stood out for us uh, this afternoon. It has to be a goalkeeper. Yeah, you know. Obviously, we've got two good goalkeepers. We've got a um, Republic of Ireland guy and a Brazilian guy. But I think today, um, yeah, Brazilian goalkeeper, he's, he's made a few good saves, so, yeah. Some familiar faces on the floor. Up right. the cherries. Up the cherries. What are you making that first half? What are you making that first half? We've been all right. Um, do you know what? Yeah. Yeah, it's been, it's been a bit of a, like, boring one. Like, they've had a lot of possession, but ultimately... 70%. We've had, 70%. We've had, we had the chances. We had yeah. a few chances. I think we've contained them quite well. Contained them quite well. Just need to do, a bit, do a bit more in the final third. Yeah, yeah. Who are you talking about with me? Who are we talking about? Yeah, you just fucking ruined that. <laughs> Here's to you, Stevie Robinson. Uh, your name is Steve Robinson. It is. Right? Yep. Came all the way from America, Bear Delaware, in the house. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm what, the cherries. What, just for this game? Yes, all, all the way from America, just for this game. We're, we're overlooking the Newcastle skyline here, and you know what? We're overlooking their stadium where we're watching a game where Bournemouth are. We're, we're in it. it. Yeah. We're in it. Looking good. Yeah. How are you feeling watching that first half? They've not been amazing. As well. it's Neto looked amazing in goal. Those last couple of minutes was a bit dodgy, but yeah. I think we'll do, come away with a point. I'll be more than happy. It, It'll be worth that, the trip. Yeah, is that your sort of you know? If we well, I still want us to win, but yeah. you know, if we can get away with a point, I'll be more than happy. Do you think if Newcastle do score, do you think Eddie will celebrate? Yeah. Well, oh no, I don't want no, him to. I don't, no, I don't want him to, but they will. Me. No, I understand why, because you know, it's his team. And, uh, it was funny when they were trying to get him to uh, give us a wave, but he wouldn't. And he didn't. But, which is fair enough, yeah. you know, he's now their manager and that, but I mean, it is sad team and in a different team, different yeah, players. Yeah. So we all loved him, you know. But I wasn't going to miss this, and I, a chance to boot Frazier, I'm there every time. You know? <laughs> I'm not a fan. You know? I'll keep the language down. <laughs> So there's not one Steve Robinson, there's two. Two, yeah, all the way from Bear Dalloway. And this one's possibly the better one, who knows? Exactly, I'm much... We're just about to go back out for the second half. Paul's here. Paul, it's been all right. Well, we'd take that all day long, wouldn't we? Who would imagine that we'd be nil-nil at half-time? Do you reckon we can sneak something in? I think we can have this. They've started to build it, though. They've yeah. started to look a bit more... They're like, oh, hang on, we've got to step this up. But, I don't know, I think we're, I think we're looking good, aren't we? <laughs> see if Livy shares this optimism. Do I you do, share Paul's optimism? Right? I do share the optimism. I think we've looked solid. I think um, uh, Smith's looks good. I think Max has looked good. Um, I think Christie's turning it on for all the shouting and singing, supporting yeah, yeah. him. Um, yeah, we've looked great. We've looked solid. The second half has started. Just imagine if you were saying all that and then there was a massive cheer for Newcastle. <laughs> it didn't happen, it's fine. Yeah. We, we're going to go out there. What's your... Oh, I don't I even want to I say. know, I don't. But, you, but you're feeling OK about it, Feeling right? good. Yeah. That's feeling what I like to hear. Let's get yeah. back out.
scored two. Talk to me, talk to me, Robin. We score where we want. We score where we want. Let's go where we want. Fraser, what score? Fraser, Fraser, what score? Fraser, what score? Wow! Fraser, Fraser, what score? Wow. Fraser, 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 what score? Fraser, what score? Fraser, what score? Oh my God. What? Fuck. Oh, it must be very hard. What? It's out there. It must it's be. A mental point, out, it? out of nowhere, they are. It's checking. Uh, what was it? A shot time or what? Like, what happened? I haven't got a clue. I haven't got a clue. Yeah, like, we don't even know. Um, some, some Newcastle fans were shouting out for it. It's what happens when you're in the stadium, you don't know. You don't know what's going on. They did like the AR a few weeks ago, they logged it down. Is he giving it? Yeah, he's giving it. He's giving it. During the national anthem, you noticed that this phrase is gone. Oh well, yeah, been taken off, mate. Absolutely. He's been ineffective, mate. Yeah, I think we've, we've dealt with him pretty well. I'm, I'm sure that um, <laughs> we surrounded him with lovely cheers all afternoon. Look, I just didn't do anything. To be fair, Newcastle haven't done much at all. I, I, I want to see this, this penalty decision. So it looks really nothing to me, but the way VAR is these days, it's given, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag on Twitter I'm reading, whether it was or wasn't. I think it was. Really? You just come back in a couple of weeks, Eddie. See you later. Wow!
I'm surprised he didn't give us more. I thought I he must he's, gonna, he's gonna struggle there with his own fans. I'll get it if he wants to. He did give us a little race. Yeah. Well, I think that's all he could do really. But it's, it's disappointing, but what do you expect is not the decent. Yeah. I mean, it's a difficult position to be in. You know it, you know if he was back at our place, he'd probably give us a bit more. Fan cam time, let's go down the 14 million spikes of stairs. Come on. Right, the free-for-all that you just saw there is now being uploaded. Just arrived back at Travelodge in Gateshead. Gonna reward ourselves with a with a cheeky night out tonight because what, what a game it was today. I thought Cherries were resilient, we were disciplined, we were rigid. And taking the lead was a bit of a bonus really, not really expected. I didn't really expect them to though. Weirdly, I don't think they would have scored had we not scored. Does that make sense? But anyway, it seems that it was a penalty, even though in the rawness of the moment, we all were like, no, it can't be. But no, uh, look, I think one all was a fair reflection of the game. Newcastle fans, absolutely lovely, wishing us a safe trip back home, but also uh, telling us whereabouts we can go for a good night out on the tune tonight. And that's what we're going to do. Very complimentary of us, and uh, a lot of them seem to think that we could be all right this season, you know, we could be all right. It was a nice little reunion with Eddie, not really the um, extended hello stroke goodbyes that we thought we'd get, but you know what, he's got to be a professional in his job at Newcastle and he'll probably understand how the fans at St James's Park felt after dropping points in what was deemed a must-win game for them. If you are a Newcastle fan, stay tuned to this channel, you might want to subscribe because we rate the away day experience and we tell you about our whole experience, the pre-match, during the game, what the staff were like, what the people were like and what the atmosphere was like as well. Hopefully, it won't disappoint you. But until the next video on Back of the Net, yeah, it was a good one. We got a draw and we've got international break now, so a chance to reflect, maybe get a new manager, maybe get a new owner, whatever. It's exciting times at Bournemouth. See you on the next one. Up the chairs.